Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to deal with the topic how CBE competency based education is different from traditional system of education. So let us have a look of uh, the definition of uh, competency based education. Competency based education is an approach towards teaching, learning and uh, assessment. And uh, teaching and learning is the core principle of competency based education is that uh, it focuses on student centered learning and it lays significant on the teaching empowering the students to learn actively supported by feedback. It is a very similar to mastery based learning and the assessment the application of knowledge and skills to real world context or uh, situations and using authentic power problems which draws on real life data are key features of CBE assessment system. Competency uh, uh, can be defined as the an individual capability of performing a task successfully in professional, educational and other life context by using first knowledge, second skills and the third one is abilities. And uh, let us see one by one knowledge is the competent uh, conceptual and theoretical understanding of the subjects it is a visible characteristic that can be easily developed through a good competency based education and the next one is skills skill is a measurable and observable proficiency or experience that is learned through training or experience it is also a visible characteristic that can be easily developed through a good competency based education right now the last one is abilities and ability is the vast underlying capacity or talent that is essential to learn and apply knowledge and skills it is a hidden characteristic we are naturally capable of uh, to learn which develops even without formal instruction so this is the introduction of uh, competency based education and now we are moving toward the, our main topic how cbes differ from traditional system of education so there are eight parameters uh, on the basis of which we are going to uh, differentiate the cb tradition uh, cb system and the traditional system uh, let us start with the first one outcomes the second one is mindset and the third one is culture fourth one is support system the next fifth one is pedagogy assessment proficiency standards and the last is advancements so uh, we'll see one by one so let us start with the uh, outcome outcomes in traditional system uh, the traditional system is focused on a narrow range of academic outcomes uh, where remembering and uh, understanding remembering and understanding that is low order thinking skills as per bloom's taxonomy along with comprehension of contents and memorization are considered significant in traditional system now in uh, competency based system the outcome in competency based education system are broader and more holistic they include deep understanding of uh, academic concepts along with the demonstration of skills uh, through applications and uh, for example uh, cb put emphasis uh, on uh, building lifelong learning skills such as 21st century skills uh, like communication collaboration and etc and uh, now we are moving to the second one mindset so mindset traditional is uh, education is based on a fixed mindset it is practiced to identify uh, achievers and under the achievers uh, in class based on their ranks or marks now uh, but in competency based education it is based on growth oriented mindset it takes res responsibility of all the students uh, in mastering learning outcomes it is more responsive and commits to continuous improvement and performance and it is completely based on mastery of the learning outcomes now we are moving toward the next one is culture and traditional uh, education focuses on compliance and order 
uh, while in uh, competency based education it focuses on empowering and nurturing inclusive culture of learning in other words the traditional system follows a uh, procedural uh, rigid, rigid and rule bound uh, approach but in competency based education uh, system values uh, students agency and participative approach right so now we are moving toward the next one support system traditional uh, system education uh, tradi traditional system has a need based support system in this uh, uh, students are helped if they are found to be significantly above or below the performance uh, norm or grade right uh, i repeat in this uh, students are helped if they are found to be significantly above or below the performance uh, grade level expectation like special education for intellectual uh, challenged students or gifted uh, and talented students while in uh, competency based education in contrast the uh, it is designed to offer differentiated instructions and timely support to all the students it offers flexi time and additional support to students irrespective of their performance below or above the norms right now the next one is pedagogy in traditional system one single curriculum is there uh, which is based on age right so the traditional system uh, delivers a single curriculum to all the students based on their age while in competency based education it is based on the principle of learning sciences and it personalized learning pathway right so uh, learning sciences is an interdisciplinary field focusing on understanding the educational context and strategies that promote learning relying on insights uh, from fields such as cognitive science and psychology about how students learn and develop understanding around concepts for example in cbe instructions uh, class uh, cbe classroom instructions in integrates the research from how students uh, learn and process information and what kind of learning environments supports effective learning right so now the next is assessment traditional system uh, traditional uh, assessment in traditional education is based on assessment of learning the assessment is summative in nature and it checks what students uh, actually knows and it is a one size fit all approach while in tradition uh, competency based education the assessment focuses on assessment as learning and assessment for learning the assessment is formative ongoing diagnostic and aligned to learning outcomes it demonstrated the transfer of knowledge and skills it is uh, aligned to uh, a student's learning pathway rather than one size uh, fit all approach like we had uh, in traditional system right now the next one is proficiency standards so proficiency standard the traditional system has uh, different standards with which educators and uh, schools determines the proficiency level of students the term proficiency or mastery has different meanings for different people in the traditional system uh, some define proficiency as 80% more than 80% some defined more than 90% some describes uh, it as advanced uh, other others use the term proficiency but have not yet defined it but in competency based education the uh, competency system is consistent and uh, reliable in defining mastery or proficiency it gives a clear definition of students proficiency uh, it assess it assesses performance for all students against the same standards rubrics clearly indicates uh, uh, the achievement criteria for evaluating students performance in competency based education now the next is uh, uh, advancement so in the traditional system uh, system the students are advanced uh, to the next grade level after uh, he year uh, regardless of what they actually learn while in uh, competency based education the students advancement is not time based 
uh, it re uh, rests on the attainment of learning experience expectations and demonstrating mastery of learned skills so uh, it is a, a growth oriented so this this is the last uh, uh, area where uh, we, we have seen the difference between these two system now we are going to summarize one by one so first one is the outcome uh, memorization and understanding of academic content in traditional education system demonstration of learned knowledge and skills in competency based education the second one is mindset fixed mindset in traditional education system whereas in the competency based education system growth mindset is there now the next one is culture culture of compliance in traditional education system culture of empowerment in competency based education system and the fourth one is support system need based supports to some students in the traditional education system whereas in uh, competency based education differentiated instructions and support to all the uh, students the fifth one is pedagogy single curriculum for all the students based on their ages while in competency based education system individual learning pathway for each student the sixth one is assessment one size fits all approach uh, system in uh, traditional education system whereas in competency based education system personalized learning approach is there the seventh one is proficiency standard different meaning for different people uh, means uh, the meaning of proficiency is different uh, uh, it has different meaning for different people whereas in the competency based education it is constant meaning for everyone and the last one is advancement uh, in traditional system education system it is uh, time based while in competency based education it is learning based so these are the eight areas where uh, the difference uh, between uh, uh, the traditional system and competency based education system we have seen so i hope you understand all these eight areas so that's all for today's uh, session thank you thank you very much